That's the secret of having a husband who is a chef. It's like you don't need to cook. <laughs> Hello, my name is Caroline Billebra. I am uh, 30 years old. I live in uh, Copenhagen with my husband. And I will show you a little bit around my house today. To be honest, the kitchen is not my working space. It's my husband's. I like the kitchen. I think I think it's nice. I feel like it it, it really uh, it fits our lifestyle. And the good thing is like the kids they can't really like uh, draw on these because you can uh, clean them off after. <laughs> so maybe that's the only place where everything is like uh, clean. I used to live in New York where I was modeling for six years before that. So when I was looking for this apartment, I was a bit younger than I am right now. And I really wanted to live like in the center of Copenhagen. I love to have like a, a safe base where you don't need to travel from. And this is what this apartment actually is for me. I don't need to go anywhere else than here, you know, my office is two minutes away and Frederick's Cafe is two minutes that way. So like uh, my daily walk is like 10 minutes around. It's really, uh, I have everything right here. So um, I really enjoy that. I will show you guys a little bit of my favorite vintage archive. I put some pieces out. Have, this is actually one of my favorite vintage outfits. It's a vintage um, Saint Laurent uh, jacket, like a quilted, I think it's a silk jacket with small clovers on. I think um, I found this one in Paris when I was on a shoot and I remember like walking into the vintage shop like being like so excited because I wanted this jacket for so long. Um, I love it. I think it's like the fit and everything. For me, Saint Laurent vintage pieces, it's like uh, finding gold or something like that. I like, I love it so much. Same fit. I like, I really do collect these kind of jackets. It's a little bit longer. It just looks so good when you just throw it on like a normal like pajama outfits. And then when you have this one on, it's like, then you just, you have the outfit, it's perfect. I think I found this one in Paris as well. Like Paris has the best vintage and I feel like this is where you find like the most rare stuff. This one is one of my absolutely favorites. I think it's so cool. It's a Saint Laurent as well. I mean, like, like the color combination, the shape, everything. For me, he was like, the best of the best. I'm so inspired of everything that he did. I do have some vintage channel. I have a lot of the ballerinas and I have some of the bags as well. This is what we call the living room. Almost all of the furniture here I got from my husband. This table I got when I turned 28 uh, as a birthday present from my husband. I really love it, but like our kids, they put stuff in here and like they put uh, stickers all over. But I, I quite like that actually. I, f I feel like it fits our personal lifestyle that everything is a bit messy and whatever. <laughs> And the lamps, uh, I think Frederick, he bought them on uh, first dips or something like that. They've been at Apollo as well. Seriously, Frederick, he always, he take our stuff and he take them on some of the restaurants. So when I go there, I'm like, wait, that's ours. <laughs> He's like, yeah, but we're only gonna borrow it for a while. So we change a bit of like, then we get something back and uh, but that's quite nice. That's why it feels really homey on all the places as well, because it's actually personal stuff. A lot of it that's on the restaurants. For me, it's important that, that the house 
is somewhere that you know you can use it, it, it doesn't need to be picture perfect it needs to be somewhere where you feel great and at home so now we are actually in one of the corners that we use the most because my daughter and my son they love to sit here and do crea as they call it they love to draw and uh, and it is actually me and frederick's work table when we have meetings, I always have really difficult concentrate. So I always sit and like draw like whatever stuff on a paper while speaking because otherwise I cannot concentrate. Um, so once I did like this a moon star drawing, um, and we actually made that out of a, we made a print out of it. It's a it's a dress that's hand beaded with moons and stars. But I I made the drawing of that one. But otherwise I don't really draw because I'm actually not a really good drawer. <laughs> I remember my very first uh, Chanel show. Um, it was the iceberg show, and it was like super crazy because there was this beautiful big iceberg uh, in the middle of Grand Palais. And I remember they told me they've been flying the iceberg in, I think it was like from Norway and from Sweden in like small parts. It was like such a crazy show. And for that one to be the first was like, wow. But always when you walk the Chanel shows, it was like the set design was, I remember the call time was always six o'clock, but it was like no problem because everybody was so excited to see how it looked and what the set design was. And it was really uh, one of the things that I cherish the most during my uh, modeling career was definitely all the experiences with Chanel. And they always treated the girls super, super nice. So now we will go to my work and my shop. Uh, I will show you guys. Come with me. Come with me and I will show you a little bit. We opened the, the shop like uh, six months ago and I started my brand cow editions two years ago now. The whole brand started with me making like a vintage Levi's jeans and putting um, leftover fabrics on. Then after like two, three months, uh, we decided that I wanted to make collection as well. My style, definitely uh, some words to define it is like colors and like beautiful textures of clothing and like special fabrics. And I really love to mix and match colors and patterns. And so it all looks expensive and nice together. If you wanted to buy something from Cow Edition, I would hope that people would uh, keep it forever. They should not change it all the season. They should wear the jacket and the coat that they bought from here like season after season. So. For me, I, I don't think so much about uh, fashion and trends. I most think about like what I like and, and what's, what you would wear forever and ever. Mm -hmm.